हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अ वेरी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक पैटर्न एंड सिमेट्री यू कैन सी देर आर फ्यू रिकैप क्वेश्चन एप्पल बैरी मैंगो एप्पल नाउ वॉट विल कम आफ्टर येस इट्स बैरी एंड देन a mango fine so apple berry mango apple berry mango now the next one let's see what will happen in this this flower has four petals this flower has three petals now this flower will have two petals and this will have just the one and now the another one one circle two circle three circle four circle now the next will be one two three four and five circles yes and then one two three four Five and six circles. One, two, three, four, five and six. Wow! Then two, four, six, eight. Then it's the table of two. Then ten. Then twelve. So all the pictures, all the patterns, all the Uh, diagrams or the numbers they are moving in a particular order so this is a pattern so what is a pattern so pattern consist of a series of figures or numbers arranged in an order we have to arrange the diagrams figures or the numbers in a order like you can see these are the few diagrams so can you see any difference in them yes in one the red color is here the other red color is here then this place and then this place now what will be the next one yes 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 let's make two more patterns of the same type so what will be the next color on this side and this side so there is a this is the pattern that means in which numbers like if we can we can take the example of number also like 3 5 7 9 so 3 plus 2 5 5 plus 2 7 7 plus 2 9 and 9 plus 2 11 11 plus 2 13 so these are the numbers or figures this is the figure this is the number so n pattern can be a number or can be a figure or can be any so dear students we have three type of patterns one is repetitive pattern growing pattern and decreasing pattern repeating repetitive in which some pattern is repeated again and again like circle triangle rectangle then circle triangle then what will come rectangle then 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 tell me after this circle so these are the three basic patterns and which we are going to repeat again and again and again fine now growing patterns like we have already done one triangle two triangles three triangles four triangles and then five so 1 2 3 4 5 then 5 then 6 this way it is growing increasing fine so then is decreasing like 12 12 minus 2 10 10 minus 2 8 8 minus 2 6 6 minus 2 4 4 minus 2 2 0 in this way so it is reducing it is less then it is less then it is less so this is repetitive in which 
things are repeating pattern is repeating again and again growing the pattern is increasing 1 2 3 and 4 decreasing in which there is a reduction in the number fine so these are the three basic types of pattern now dear students let us do an activity i have this rectangle i have folded it into two parts just from the center now i will cut any pattern on it after folding so i am cutting a pattern yeah this i have cut again one more let's see what happens i am cutting you can try it at home also this one and one more I am this going to cut let's see oh very good and one from this side also you can avoid any of the cut but it's good if you are cutting from both sides fine so I have cut it now you can see I have cut a pattern on it okay now I am going to open it you can see I have opened it this way now you can see uh, if this is the half and if I open it the same pattern is going to be repeated on both side so the line on which I have cut is dividing it into two parts if I cover the one like this this one is exactly same as that of this so it's both sides are equal with this activity let us start another topic which is symmetry so symmetry if a figure can be divided into two equal parts like this is a figure we can divide it into two equal parts if i fold it from the center so this part is exactly same to the another one fine so if any figure can be divided into two equal parts then it shows the symmetry like let us take the example of a smiley so if you see the half portion one eye is this side one eye is this side half of the smile is this side half of the smile is this side if we fold it the whole figure are going to superimpose ek dusri ke upar, they are going to fit very a good manner fine so this figure is just can be divided into two equal parts so the line this is the line which divides this figure into two parts this is called as line of symmetry so any line which is dividing the figure into two equal parts is called line of symmetry so any figure which is converted into two equal parts has symmetry and the line which converts is line of now symmetry let us take few examples to check whether they are symmetrical or not in case of a if i draw a line here so you can see both parts are equal so it is symmetrical in the same way if I draw a line here so both parts are equal this and this so it is also in symmetry if I draw a line here these are also equal so it is showing the symmetry now in case of P if I draw a line here both are different and if I draw a line here also even then both are different so this is not symmetrical now in case of L also this is different this is different so L is also not symmetrical so you can just draw a horizontal line or a vertical line it may be a slanting line like if I draw a square here this is a square now in this if I draw a this line fine so these are equal in case of square so it may be a vertical line or a horizontal line or a slanting line any line which if uh, with that if uh, we can divide a figure into two equal parts then it will show definitely good.